1954, aviation technology was soaring to new heights. In the post-war world, airplanes were making the world smaller, transforming long voyages into short journeys. This progress, however, didn't prevent one of the most baffling mysteries in the annals of aviation history from occurring. On September 4, 1954, a Lockheed Super Constellation airplane carrying the code of Santiago Flight 513 taxied onto the runway in Aachen, West Germany. It was a regular passenger flight headed to Chile in South America. With its engines roaring, the plane took off, lifting into the sky with 88 passengers and four crew members on board. Among them was the veteran pilot, Captain Miguel Curie, a man known for his extensive experience and meticulous adherence to safety protocols. As the plane ascended, there was nothing to indicate that this was anything other than a routine flight. But as history would prove, this was anything but routine. Hours after the takeoff, as Santiago Flight 513 was cruising over the vast expanse of the Atlantic Ocean, something inexplicable happened. The aircraft, along with everyone on board, simply vanished. Air traffic controllers were baffled when the plane's signal disappeared from their radars. Frantic radio calls echoed through the control towers, trying to re-establish communication with Flight 513. But there was only silence. No distress calls were received, and no indication of trouble was ever reported by Captain Curie. For days, search and rescue teams scoured the waters of the Atlantic, looking for any signs of the missing plane. But it was as if Santiago Flight 513 had vanished into thin air. No debris was ever found, no oil slicks, no remnants of the aircraft at all. As the days turned into weeks and weeks into months, the search efforts waned. The families of those aboard Santiago Flight 513 were forced to accept the fact that their loved ones were gone, swallowed by the ocean, victims of an unfortunate aviation accident. The exact circumstances of the disappearance, however, remained a mystery. For decades, the enigma of Santiago Flight 513 lingered. Conspiracy theories emerged. Some suggested that the plane had entered a wormhole or a portal to another dimension. Others, that it had been abducted by extraterrestrial beings. These ideas, as wild as they were, gained traction in the absence of any concrete answers. Then, 35 years later, something truly astonishing happened. On October 12, 1989, air traffic controllers at Porto Alegre Airport in Brazil noticed an unidentified plane appearing on their radar screens. The aircraft was approaching the airport at a steady speed and altitude, clearly intending to land. The control tower tried to establish radio contact with the incoming plane, but there was no response. The signal was clear, and the aircraft appeared to be following all protocols for a proper landing, save for the eerie silence on the radio. As the plane touched down, airport staff noticed something was off. The model of the aircraft looked outdated, like something out of the 1950s. Moreover, it bore the markings of Santiago Airlines, a company that had ceased operations more than 30 years prior. A team of airport security and technicians were dispatched to the runway, waiting for the aircraft's doors to open. The team approached the airplane with a growing sense of unease. The engines were still humming, but there was no movement from inside the plane. As they finally managed to open the doors, they were met with a shocking sight. Inside the aircraft were the skeletal remains of 88 passengers and four crew members, still seated as if frozen in time. The scene was macabre and unsettling, a gruesome tableau from a long-lost era. Even the cockpit revealed a grim spectacle. The skeleton of Captain Miguel Curie was still gripping the controls. News of the mysterious plane that landed in Porto Alegre with 92 skeletons on board spread like wildfire. The media descended on the airport, demanding answers. As the story broke, it became apparent that the aircraft was, indeed, Santiago Flight 513, the very same plane that had vanished 35 years ago over the Atlantic Ocean. But how could this be? How could a plane, seemingly untouched by time, reappear after more than three decades with its passengers and crew turned into skeletons? The case of Santiago Flight 513 was quickly surrounded by a shroud of secrecy. The Brazilian authorities confirmed the incident but provided no further details. The plane was sequestered in a hangar, 
away from prying eyes, and the investigation was conducted behind closed doors. Soon, the story of Flight 513 became a fodder for conspiracy theories and urban legends. The Brazilian government was accused of covering up the truth, of hiding evidence of supernatural phenomena or even extraterrestrial contact. As the years went by, the mystery of Santiago Flight 513 became the stuff of legend. People speculated that the plane had traveled through time, that it had entered a wormhole, or that it had been part of a secret experiment gone wrong. The theories were as numerous as they were imaginative, and yet no official explanation was ever given. The story of Santiago Flight 513 remains an enigma, a tantalizing mystery that defies explanation. In a world where technology has unlocked so many secrets, where science has illuminated the darkest corners of the universe, there are still tales that elude our understanding. Santiago Flight 513 serves as a reminder that despite our progress, there are still mysteries out there that are beyond our comprehension.